What's going on, people? Welcome to another edition of Gen Sports Corner back at you for November 28th, 2021. Hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving, had some good food, stayed safe, drank, and were very merry. But let's get into it. You know, football Sunday equals Giants until as old as time. And look, big playoff implications, big game here, and could be a trap game. So let's get into it. Eagles five and six, three and one in their last four games versus the three and seven Giants just coming off a horrific loss on Monday Night Football where he got absolutely embarrassed by TB12 and the Buccaneers 30 to 10. Jason Garrett got fired because of that. It was a straw that broke the Giants' back, and he's out of there. Freddie Kitchens, former Browns head coach, is now the offensive coordinator. We'll see how they look, their new look offense today. Um, let's get into some of the key stats and news and notes. Injuries, Jordan Howard is out for the Eagles, but beyond that, we're pretty healthy. Miles Sanders, thankfully, is back, so he's going to get his chance to really run the rock, and we'll see where we can get with that a running game has been very strong and then the Giants Kyle Rudolph tight end is out Kadarius Tony, the spark plug at wide receiver he's out Saquon Barkley is still gimpy but it looks like he's going to play but we'll see how much time he splits with Devin Booker and then John Ross is questionable as well for this game so that's the injury report let's get into some of the stats and the matchups uh, something big to note is Daniel Jones against the Eagles has had a lot of success. He's not, hasn't played great overall, but against the Eagles, he's had an 87.5 passer rating, 66% completion percentage, and he's running for 11.4 yards per carry. And, I mean, we all remember that one run, I think it was last year, where he broke it out for about 80 yards and then hit an imaginary pothole and blew a tire <laughs> at like the 10-yard line. But the point being, we know he can get loose and we want to keep him contained. That's very important. So some of the key matchups here, Darius Slay against, in my opinion, Kenny Galladay. That's the main guy you want to keep on the wraps. Now, we don't know if he's going to shadow Galladay or if Slay's going to stay on the right side of the field exclusively, but that's the matchup for me. Darius Slayton, he's okay. He can go, he can go off if you let him, but he's not an X factor. Kenny Galladay, that's the one you got to keep an eye on. And Darius Slay, he's been on fire this year. Three touchdowns defensively for him this year. He's been everything we expected from him last year. He's been this year. He's been big play Slay. I think he's going to show up and show out. And then next matchup we have Evan Ingram. I mentioned before, Kyle Rudolph is out. So Evan Ingram, he's going to get a lot of looks. Because also, I didn't mention, excuse me, Sterling Shepard is out. So you know the ball is going to be going Evan Ingram's way. Especially against an Eagles linebacking core, which is weak against the tight end position. So if you're playing fantasy football, you might want to pick up Evan Ingram. He might be on track to have a big day. Hopefully not too big of a day. But that's the second matchup. And then the third personal matchup that I'm looking at is Devonta Smith versus James Bradbury, the Giants' best cover corner. And Bradbury will probably be shadowing Devonta Smith all game. So keep an eye on that. I still think that Devonta Smith can get loose. He has great rot running capabilities, and I think he's going to get targeted a lot as he has been all season. I think that connection between Jalen Hurts and Devonta Smith is just getting stronger and stronger as we go by game by game now let's move on to the keys to victory and first key to victory for me is pound the rock pound the rock. i'll repeat that again pound the rock okay we're tied with the browns and the cardinals with 17 rushing touchdowns tops in the nfl and we are only second behind the browns in yards per game with 153.4 yards per game and we have to get to the edges. The Giants, if it's one thing they do well, they're strong up the middle in the interior. Uh, Leonard Williams, uh, really good defensive tackle. However, they don't set the edge well and they don't tackle on the perimeter well. So that's exactly what the Eagles need to do with that zone run screen, uh, scheme. You want to 
uh, run zone to the outside, and especially get Jalen Hurts from the edge. If they're weak against the edges, that's going to be even more of a reason for Jalen Hurts to be able to get loose and punish them on the ground. So that's key number one for me. Key number two, keep Daniel Jones in the pocket, but get effective pressure on him, okay? He's been passing well from the pocket actually this year. 89% um, percent with it, with, without uh, pressure with a clean pocket, he has an 89% completion percentage, uh, 6.9 yards per attempt, but under pressure, it's a 35% completion percentage with 2.1 yards, yards per attempt. So a night and day difference. Get pressure on him, but be disciplined. Stay in your rush lanes. Don't allow him to break outside of the pocket and hurt you on the ground. Then my last key for victory is be stingy in the red zone. Right now, we are 24th in the league in passing and rushing touchdowns surrendered. We have to be disciplined in the red zone. If you want to play Ben, but don't break, cool. But don't break in the red zone. Cannot give them easy scores and especially don't allow them to get up early at home in the Meadowlands. You don't want to fall behind with the crowd noise. So those are my three keys to victory. And with that being said, I have the Eagles winning this game 28 to 24 up in the Meadowlands. Despite this Giants team being booty cheeks, for whatever reason, whenever the Eagles play the Washington football team or the Giants, they always play the Eagles tough. No matter what year it is, what decade, what personnel, what team, what coach, doesn't matter. They just find a way to be a headache for the Eagles. So I don't see this Giants team going away quietly at all. Um, I had the Eagles winning by four points and a very important win to go to six and six. That being said, let's look at some of the other important games this week. Obviously, my Raiders, shout out to y'all. Big boy car getting it done. Knocking their asses out in overtime, 36 to 33, in a game that was horribly officiated for both teams. But nothing capped off my Thanksgiving better than seeing the Cowgirls go down in miserable fashion in overtime. I, oops, I was just so happy. I was just delighted. <laughs> so they're out of there this week. Secondly, we obviously have to beat the Giants. And then third, we need the Washington football team to lose to Seattle today for two reasons. One, because it helps us out in the division and in the playoff push but it also would push them ahead of Miami for uh, draft pick purposes so they would be um, that would help us help us out there and then we need Carolina obviously to beat Miami today and then we need the Vikings to win over the 49ers to be able to help us out in the playoff spot because the 49ers own the tiebreaker over the Eagles this year because we lost to them and then lastly, obviously, we need the Colts to lose because not only will that get Carson Wentz's snap percentage up, but it will also push that pick closer to being near the, the 19th pick in the draft. So we have a lot of things going on today, a lot of games to pay attention to with regards to the Eagles. So keep your eyes open, your ears alert, and hey, it's going to be a good day, I think. That being said, let me know what you guys think of the prediction, and um, I will be dropping another video uh, regarding last night's big win, George Cambosis over Teofimo Lopez. Congratulations, champ. You earned those belts. Great fight. Both fighters fought well, but Cambosis definitely bought it. Very proud of him. You made a new fan of me, dude. Oh, uh, jo Joel B dropping 40-plus points last night, over 13 rebounds. I can't remember how many he had. I mean... In his first game back from the bug. Guy's a beast. Welcome back, big guy. Uh, that's it for now. Um, uh, leave a like on the, the video. Leave your comments. And let me know what you guys think. Catch y'all after the games. Peace.